Renata Francois with Shoebox Inc. Today's topic is bone conduction. The purpose of bone conduction, which is typically tested after air conduction thresholds have been measured, is to help determine the nature of the hearing loss. The ear has three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. By stimulating the mastoid, which is at the area behind the ear, we're able to more directly access the cochlea, or the inner ear. Your equipment setup for bone conduction testing will vary depending on if you're testing unmasked bone conduction or masked bone conduction. Your inner ears are encased in the bone of your skull. And therefore, if you vibrate on one side, you're actually stimulating both inner ears. And therefore, when you're doing unmasked bone conduction, the better hearing ear will answer, even when that is the opposite of where the bone conductor is placed. To place the bone conductor behind the right ear, you'll want to place it on the bony protuberance here, making sure that there's no contact with the outer ear or pinna. Also, you'll want the opposite end to be securely fastened so that there's no movement during testing. If your patient wears glasses, please be mindful to make sure that the arms of the glasses are not in contact with the band of the bone conductor. For mask bone conduction testing, you will need to introduce your air transducers. I recommend setting them up to the smallest configuration You'll want to cover the non-test ear because that's where the wind noise or masking will be presented. You'll want to keep the test ear open and clear, therefore placing the transducer on the forehead or side of the head is the best option. Important to make sure that there's no contact with the bone conductor and the air transducer because you don't want to be vibrating your headphones at the same time. This setup is slightly awkward, so you'll want to be mindful to keep it on the patient for as little as possible. Therefore, when you're finished testing, be sure to go ahead and remove the equipment prior to doing any counseling with your patient or interpretation of the results. For more videos on topics that you may encounter during your hearing testing, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.